Hey guys, it's Binu again and today I'm going to show you how you can easily import audio into Krita. And with that, I'll show you how I animated this short clip of Donald Duck from the DuckTales reboot. So we'll start off by heading over to Window, Workspace and then Animation to make sure that we have the animation timeline down below. And then we'll go over to the timeline and click on this tiny button. Here you can adjust the volume of your audio, remove it, mute it and of course add sound. So we are going to click on open audio and select an audio file. Here I've got a small snippet of Donald Duck going what's the big idea voiced by the legendary voice actor Tony Anselmo. And now if you play it back you should hear the audio play. Unfortunately we can't really see the audio as a waveform or move the audio around or edit any of it inside of Krita as of now. But hopefully we'll get more audio features in future updates to Krita. And that pretty much covers all of Krita's audio features, so let's move on to the project I made using this. The subject of this animation would be Donald Duck from the 2017 DuckTales reboot, so as usual I did some pre-production research. This show and its comics have had a huge influence on me, so I was pretty familiar with all the stylistic aspects of this show. And this show has a very unique art style where the backgrounds closely mimic the drawings from a comic book, specifically the comic series of the same name. So I was really excited to try and recreate this comic style inside of Krita. So with that theme in mind, I wanted to create an animation of Donald coming to life from a page in a comic book and being offended at us, cause you know he's Donald and he's almost always pissed at something. So I'm starting off with a rough layout of the comic panels and I had this idea of the group being stranded on an island in one of their adventures as a theme for this comic. I also got inspiration for this idea from some of their comic adventures. I want Donald to be looking away into the distance and suddenly noticing us and getting pissed off. So I'm starting off with a rough head turn of him towards the screen and giving him a frown on his eyes as an expression. And then I'm gonna scrub back and forth in the timeline to match his mouth to the sort of syllables that I hear. After I finish the mouth movements, I animated the two arms. His right arm would go up and shake back and forth to show us how pissed off he is. And his left hand would come out and hold on to the edge of the panel to show us that he is in fact breaking the fourth wall. And finally, I'm animating the little piece of hair on his head and his sailor hat separately with different timings so there's some nice follow through to them. Here I'm making the small ribbon like part of his hat move a bit more frantically when he's shaking his fist so that it really shows that his whole body is affected by his anger. Also I reworked his left hand to be more visible and exaggerated the action afterwards to emphasize the fact that he is breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> And then I slowly inked everything bit by bit using the ink circle 10 brush. I'm adding in some smears on some actions like the head turn to give it more of a smooth and cartoony look to it. I suggest that you ink different parts like the arms and head on different layers so that if you want to make any changes down the line, it would be much easier for you. And after I'm satisfied with Donald's look, I'm going back into the background and the other panels and cleaning them up for inking. And after that, I draw the panels using the rectangle tool. And then I reduce the opacity of my background sketch and ink away using the ink tail brush 20. And now for the part I had the most fun with. I brought in some color palettes I made before from similar shots in the DuckTales comics. And then using these colors, I blocked out the background to make it look like a sunset scene by the sea. And I'm using separate layers on the multiply blending mode to add shadows to the background. Note that I'm intentionally leaving out edges of some elements when coloring and making some colors to flow out of the lines. This is to mimic the look of the comic where there's like a slight offset in the printing of the colors. So in the show and the comics, the backgrounds have two kinds of shadows. The normal darker shade of a certain color and a much darker shade with a half tone filter on them. So now I'm going to replicate that. I'm going to start out by drawing out the shadows I want with a darker color on a separate layer. And then right click on the layer, go to group and click on quick clipping group. 
and then you bring in a half tone texture with a transparent background and insert it as a new layer and we can transform it to the shape we want using the transform tool and make sure that this layer is in the clipping group above your shadow layer and simply click on this button now the filter will only apply to your shadow and then you can decrease the opacity to however much you want so i'll be repeating this method for other elements in the background as well next i want this to have a sort of paper texture to it since the backgrounds of the show have a nice texture that mimics a comic book so to do that i'm bringing in a yellow paper texture as a new layer and placing it below donald's layers I'm setting its blending mode to multiply so that it blends in nicely and decreasing the opacity a bit. And finally I go into filter, adjust and levels. And I move this slider to the right and bring out more of the details in the texture and there you have it. And next I'm coloring Donald using the paint bucket tool on separate layers for separate parts of him. And another small detail in the show is that they have white lines for parts where black intersects with black. In this case his outfit so i'm gonna paint out small white lines on his outfit we can do that easily on the outline without going out of it by turning alpha lock on in the outline layer right here and finally i'm adding a shadow under his left hand so that this gives some more depth and realism to the fact that he's able to come out of the comic panel and to finish things off i'm redoing all of this to the small parts of the panels around him as well also, I added a speech bubble to the panel to the left, but I couldn't get it on camera. But anyways, there you have it. Donald Duck completely animated to his voice inside of Critter. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned some useful stuff as well. And don't forget to let us know what you thought about today's video. And shout out to our awesome peeps out on Patreon. And if you don't already, please consider supporting us on Patreon. We've got three tiers over there, including a new tier where we let you in on our inspirations like TV shows, movies, and games and whatnot. So as always, thank you so much for the continuous love and support, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.